An incredible victory. I knew Asmodan could never stand up to the likes of you. Where are Adria, Leah, and Tyriel? They're all in the armory. No doubt celebrating. You should join them. Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my Daughter, you shall serve as his vessel! I live. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Now, at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the High Heavens.
Adria has betrayed us. And now Leah is lost. From her body, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. The power of hell answers his call. And the heavens buckle under the weight of corruption. I will purge this evil forever. Heavens, what have we done? Imperius, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrion. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. The aspect of valor condemns us. This will be difficult. The Diamond Gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. You didn't destroy those gates. Yet I defended humanity when Imperius would have destroyed it. And now the prime evil storms heaven itself. This is not the time for doubt and weakness, Tyriel. Imperius is a fool, and if you side with him against me, you are too. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. Dire tidings indeed. Destruction I have wrought. It will be the last thing you see. It's got to destroy the Nephilim. I do not fear you, Nephilim. You find only death in this eternal realm. I am ethereal, 
Archangel of Fate, it is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. I care little for destiny. Will you help me? Or should we stand here and watch the heavens fall apart? Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Raganoth, the Lord of Despair. She will be free. Perhaps that will bring hope back to these heavens. These are the Gardens of Hope. The Gardens of Fire cannot be found. <laughs> continues to spread, and all will be lost to darkness and ruin. Thank 
you, Nephilim. I hoped the scroll of fate was wrong, that harmony would once again fill this troubled realm. I see now that all hope lies in you. I will be worthy of it. With my blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. We will not fail you. Diablo brought despair to the halls of heaven, but hope is restored. I thought this would bring Tyriel back to us, but there is no sign of him. I must press on and destroy Diablo's infernal portals alone. is comprised of the five archangels who hold dominion over the high heavens. They determine the laws by which all angels must abide. Each of them embodies a pure aspect of creation. Valor. Justice. Hope. Faith. And wisdom. City. Now only one rift remains. That is not the only Hell Rift. The flow of my legions will not stop. 